Hey folks, Cam Rogers here. Welcome back to the Cam Rogers Show. We have Meg McDonald of Sooner TV, a, a Fox Sports Network, and she has been heavily involved in OU. A big game for them against Texas Tech tomorrow. Meg, how we doing? Appreciate the time. I'm good, Cam. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. A lot to talk about here. As I said, big game in Norman tomorrow. You know, I'm going out on a limb here. I'm thinking we're going to see a lot of points. What are your initial thoughts on this matchup? Well, if we base it off last year's game, I think you're right. But the defense, the OU defense, like, is pretty disappointed from that game last year. And they're, they circled this game on their calendar for 365 days now. So they're trying to put on a show against the uh, Texas Tech offense this week. And it certainly should be a fun one, the uh, air raid offense, if you will, for those Texas Tech Red Raiders. Baker Mayfield, of course, takes on the former team of his. For the final time, he's 2-0 and against Texas Tech. Could you actually see an upset brewing? Because it kind of has been that type of season where, you know, who knows what can happen. I mean, I don't, I'm not even sure if the earth is round because there's just so much that has gone on in college football. Do you see an upset possible? Um, No. <laughs> but the Big 12, you never know. I mean, I was at the Iowa State OU game, and I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my eyes even on the fourth and out where Baker Mayfield couldn't get it done. So I don't think – I think they've had enough close games where they're pretty over the drama. They don't want the drama anymore. They're over it. They still are in the playoff conversation, but every single week is an elimin elimination game for them. Yeah. So – in that sense, I just can't see Texas Tech pulling it off in Norman. Now, looking at the Big 12 in general here, Meg, of course, we're having the Big 12 championship this year for the first time since 2010. And I got to ask you about this. How important is that for OU in general and then also just the Big 12 to make a college football playoff? Because you have to, of course, impress that committee, right? Yeah, that's huge. And I think the Big 12 has been on the – bad side of things when it comes to the playoff contentions because we didn't have a Big 12 tournament. And last year it came down to a Bedlam game, which was kind of weird because it was Bedlam, but it was also the Big 12 championship. Sure. So it just didn't really feel like a championship, though. So I think actually having a real game that's designated to send, hopefully, a Big 12 team to the top four here, I mean, later on this season, I think that's huge. It certainly still seems like a toss-up right now. I mean, you got Iowa State in the fold at this juncture. There's OU, there's TCU. How do you like Oklahoma's chances to actually make the playoffs? You alluded to it right then and there that this is essentially an elimination game all the way out the rest of the year. Do you like them to get in despite that early season loss? I still do. I do, and I think... I mean, obviously everyone had this TCU-Iowa State game circled on their calendars knowing it was going to be a huge game. No, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> At exactly. the beginning of the season. But I still think OU has a shot. They have the best quarterback in the league, in my opinion. I mean, Baker, how, do you, how are you a Heisman candidate three years? Like, you are the GOAT. You are one of the best to ever play college football. So, yes, their defense has been a little iffy and – their offense, they kind of just play the hot hand. They don't have the stars like they did last year, but it's working for them so far. So I think they still have that edge, you know, like they're not complacent there because they're fighting for these games. They're not just blowing people out like they normally do. I mean, the past, I want to say four or five games, the fourth quarters weren't like we didn't know who was going to win, which is kind of unheard of when it comes to OU. So I still think they have that fight and that edge left in them. Yeah, it's interesting. You look at some of these games this year, and they have been, like, scary tight, of course, most recently with Kansas State. And I've been interacting with some OU fans the last couple of weeks, Meg, and a lot of them want Stoops fired, defensive coordinator for OU. Has it gotten to that point where Stoops is perhaps on the hot seat? Uh, I don't think so, but trust me, I've read message boards, and Sooner fans are not happy. I mean, you can go on Twitter – after a game and people are lighting him up but yeah. they're still winning games like they're still able to finish so yes I think the defense has been holding the offense back 
in a sense. But they're still coming out with wins. Road wins are huge in the Big 12. So I still think he has some time left. I don't think he's doing that horrible of a job. But Sooner fans are a little spoiled in the sense that OU is always good. So I still think I think he's okay. Yeah, being from New England, I know what spoiled fans are like. Looking at you, Patriots fans out there, <laughs> I got you. All right, Meg, let me ask you about Baker Mayfield. You talked about him, Heisman candidate, and you got Saquon Barkley, Bryce Love, all of these candidates in his way. How do you like Baker's chances to win the Heisman, especially if he continues to win games for OU like he has been, really putting the team on his back? You know, I liked them better early on, earlier on in the season. <laughs> Because some of these stars have really showed up in the past couple of games. Once conference season really started, you have the Saquon Barkley and uh, the Bryce Loves who have just put on a clinic when it comes to their offenses. But Baker is such a – he plays with a chip on his shoulder even when he's a stud. You know what I mean? Like he's always had that mindset. I mean, from starting as a walk-on at Texas Tech to a transfer to OU – you know, not playing and then playing and now he's a star and it just he's always had that edge and he didn't even I don't know if you know this, but he didn't even practice last week, the whole week leading up to K State. He didn't practice once. He didn't he didn't throw until Friday morning, I believe. And still was nursing a shoulder injury and then came out and lit him up. So to me, mental toughness needs to go into it. Um, just his mindset. He's very charismatic. Like the media, they love him here. Everyone loves Baker Mayfield. He's the star in Norman. So in that sense, I think there's so many things that go into a Heisman candidate. And I, this is his third run. <laughs> like, right. Come on, give the guy a break. Finally give it to him. For real, it seems like he's a real blue-collar guy too, Meg. I mean, the way in which he came onto these teams as a walk-on and really – fighting uh, all the way to the top here and really having a fantastic season in his own right. We'll see where he falls as we go forward with the Heisman rankings. But let me ask you here, open up the, you know, the old crystal ball, if you will. Predict this game here. It's prime time. Texas Tech, OU in Norman's going to be rabid, crazy environment. What do we got? Give me a score prediction. Okay, this is a hot take, but I'm going to okay. go for it. Because this is what fans like. Fans like they're comfortable with like a 21-24 game. If it's if it's higher than that, the defenses were horrible. I mean, yeah. And then if it's lower than that, there was no offense. And I I just think like both teams are so aware that it was a track meet last year. I think the the total stats was like over 1,700, which is ridiculous or of yards, which is insane. I just think the defenses, both of them, probably want to light each other up. So. In that sense, I'm going 21-24. Okay, big boy football, a little hard hitting. I like it. All right, hot takes here on the Cam Rogers Show. Talk with Meg McDonald here of Sooner TV. Meg, from what I understand now, you were quite a star at Iowa State as a D1 gymnast. Got to ask you here, what was our specialty back in the day? Give me a little bit about the uh, time there. I don't know if star is the right word. I was like pretty mediocre, but <laughs> I was definitely uh, vault and bars. Those were my two two events that I was pretty good at. Not beam. I hated beam. Like people who can do beam, I'm sorry, but it's scary. Like they make it look like it's not scary, but it is terrifying. <laughs> Hey, it all looks terrifying, and by the way, I, I was a mediocre intramural quarterback back in the day in college, too, so, you know, maybe we can kind of bond over that, but let me ask you this here, too, because I feel like doing the uneven bars, that's what they're called, right, like, takes a lot of concentration, like, I'm watching some highlights of D1 gymnastics, and I feel dizzy just looking at it, how do you concentrate and do something like that? I gotta know. Um, I don't know, like, I'm three years out now and like when I look back at some of the highlights I don't know how I did it. it I really don't like I can't even imagine doing half of what I used to do now like I'd be way too scared but yeah I guess it took concentration but when you grow up I mean you know gymnasts they start when they're like five when you grow up in that environment it's just kind of you go on autopilot and you do it like you don't have a really an option to not do it so <laughs> when you don't have an option you have to 
Maybe a few yoga sessions in for me and I can give it a try. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we'll broadcast that live here on the show. Meg McDonald, ladies and gentlemen, check her out. Sooner TV. She will be following the big game tomorrow for OU against Texas Tech. Meg, appreciate the time and all the best to you. Thanks so much for having me, Cam. All right, there you have it. Many thanks to her for coming on the show. We're going to hit a quick break, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up on the other side, I am giving you three NFL trades that will go down before the deadline. Book it, pencil it in, stick around for the Cam Rogers Show.